okay hello friends this is yusuf again it's a continuation of our last video okay so last video uh, somehow the recording has stopped in between okay so this time uh, we're gonna make it simple uh, we're gonna code everything uh, only in uh, server okay no need of uh, visual studio code on those things to save some time okay so till uh, last video we have seen uh, you know uh, the simple uh, procedure Okay, so this video we're gonna see the continuation, which is like uh, uh, passing parameters to the procedure and then uh, getting a return value. Okay, so let's go and read our program. See, here I already made one, uh, but for the sake of, I'll repeat it again. Okay, I don't want this, don't want this, don't want this. So what we had is simply a procedure called SPR. We declared it. Okay, and then here uh, we just told, we called, and then we displayed. Okay, now we need to pass one parameter. The first step is to declare it during the procedure itself okay so we'll say that uh, it will have one uh, maybe parameter of uh, length 10 and uh, and i can define my own variable name as a standalone variable for my main procedure uh, to hold the value okay yes so here i can say that uh, name equal to use of and i can pass the name as a parameter now we need to receive the name here right so uh, we have to receive it using a yeah, pi okay so pi okay and then under the pi we should have a variable name you can have whatever the variable name you want and uh, with the same declaration okay so now let's compare so here we said we declared our procedure with one parameter we re are receiving the parameter using the variable name now this name will contain the same value what we have passed uh, from here it will be available okay now let's quickly see if this works yes file uh, tp1 okay call the was one tp1 so it displays hello user which is correct now let's quickly do it in our uh, free form so let me edit the file so here is the file what we have so first we need to uh, know change this declaration right so what we are going to do i'm going to cut this one we're gonna, because we are going to make uh, more than one line and let's terminate this and inside i am say star n i don't have a name i say it's a character of 10 okay and then here i say uh, name is equals to yusuf and i pass the name here so we need to declare this name so it's dcl hyphen s uh, name character of 10 okay now to receive this one we have to do dcl hyphen pi like how we have pi there we have to put it here so it's a pi for uh, test pr and we have to end this with uh, npi and inside we need to uh, have the variable name the declaration okay so we'll be having this name variable here so we can say that uh, welcome name let's put into brackets okay f2 f3 uh, so let's compile this term qtem test pr1 done call qtem test pr1 we got welcome yusuf so it's done now let's go on to the another level uh, we're going to edit this one so this time uh, we are going to receive the value from the procedure okay which means uh, first of all this declaration should say that we are going to have a written value okay so written value i'm going to put uh, 50 so whatever you specify in this uh, declaration itself that is called the written value okay so 50 character so we want to receive it in a variable right so have add as message and uh, let's put it 50 and uh, now we will change this something like this okay message is equal to test pr of name okay by passing the name we are receiving the value in the message fine in the procedure now the same thing we need to have the 50 uh, in this pa to tell that we have a written value of 50 character and instead of displaying i can say return hello plus whatever comes okay so that's how we'll return and we can receive it in message and we want to display it right so we'll display it here and display message okay that's it let's quickly see if this works file 14 tp1 qtem call qtem tp1 
so it prints hello user which is correct because uh, but this time it is displaying from our main browser okay because return value and it is just displaying okay now let's edit this one with the free form okay first point here we need to have a return variable right uh, so that should be coded in the declaration itself so we're gonna have maybe a character of 50 will be my written variable and it has one parameter which is this 10 character okay let's come down uh, let's do a variable to receive the value and uh, this is okay and here we say that uh, message is equal to test pair of this and uh, display the message variable here and in the procedure itself we'll say that um, in the pi uh, we will have what we will have a character of 50 as a return variable and uh, sorry 50 and we have one parameter which comes down and instead of displaying you just do a return okay welcome is so let's change this value just to see if this works okay f2 f3 and let's compile it it's done let's call it welcome Mohammed. okay cool so yeah that's a quick uh, overview about our uh, you no know, procedures in free form okay so this could have given you the brief overview about uh, how do you convert your fixer form code into free form code so as you can see actually we have a lot of advantages like we can have our code more you no know, writable readable you can have a lot of comments and then give the spacing okay we don't need to still think which position i have to code the yes which position i have to code you know pr pa those things so now everything become free format that's advantage so so uh, it's not the end of the free form tutorial uh, i have another video specifically coming up next uh, that will be interesting one and that might be the end of the free form video okay so i hope this could be helpful for you and then i would encourage you guys to you know uh, start using free format and uh, encourage others to use free format okay because there's the latest trends and uh, latest trends means it's a uh, you know coming with a lot of features to us okay so that's the end of this video i hope you like it uh, if you like it please share it with your friends and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video